We live in an increasingly interconnected and interdependent world. Globalization touches every part of our lives, from the products we buy, to the food we eat, to the ways we communicate with one another. Globalization has both proponents and detractors. No matter which side you're on, globalization is simply a reality of modern life. Therefore, it's important to understand how it affects us and the choices we make. So, what is globalization? Globalization refers to the expansion and intensification of social relation and consciousness across world space and world time. According to anthropologist Arjuna Padurai, there are different kinds of globalization which occur on multiple and intersecting dimensions that he calls scapes. So here are the five different scapes of globalization according to Apadurai. Ethnoscape refers to the people that move around in the world as well as ideas that move with them and the impact such motion has. While people such as labor migrants or refugees travel out of necessity or in search of better opportunities for themselves and their families, leisure travelers are also part of this gate. Mediascape refers to the flow of media across borders. This describes the way that visual imagery impacts the world. Such imagery comes from books, magazines, television, cinema, and above all, advertising that can directly impact the landscape and also subtly influence through persuasive techniques and an increasingly pervasive presence the way that people perceive reality. The term mediascapes is also used to stress different streams or flows along which cultural material may be seen to be moving across national boundaries. Technoscape refers to the global configuration of technology and the way technology moves at high speeds across various boundaries and borders that we once considered in the past to be impervious. This is identified by the flow of machinery, technology, and software produced by transnational corporations and government agencies. Escape is the distribution of images and often directly political and frequently have to do with the ideologies of states and the movements explicitly oriented to capturing state power. Idescape is the flow of ideological Western views of democracy, sovereignty, and welfare rights. Financecape is the disposition of global capital, which is now a more mysterious, rapid, and a difficult landscape to follow due to the changes in currency markets, national stock exchanges, and commodity speculations. Financecape focuses on the flow of currencies, securities, and of capital. We knowingly or unknowingly experience globalization. Its effects, both negative and positive, are a reality. No one can opt out entirely. What represents an upside for some people might represent a downside for others. 
Though some countries view globalization as a threat to local identity, culture, or social and political norms, no country can be entirely self-sufficient. In conclusion, globalization has indeed created a world.